365 days, 365 messages God has in store for you each year. You've Got Mail from God by Edgar Redondo Ramirez. Come and let us see what God has in store for you today. I'm glad you could join us to begin the month with a message from God. Today is March 1, 2022, and the title for this devotional is called, He is Our Righteousness. But before we start, let's begin with a word of prayer. Dear God, thank you for preserving us and allowing us to begin a new month. God, help us to begin this month with your word in our hearts. In the name of Jesus, amen. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, that I will raise to David a branch of righteousness. A king shall reign and prosper and execute judgment and righteousness in the earth. In his days, Judah will be saved and Israel will dwell safely. Now this is his name by which he will be called the Lord our righteousness. Jeremiah 23, 5-6 the word justice has taken center stage in our society. From the movements that seek to guarantee the most basic rights for all, to those causes that try to care for the planet and seek assistance for those who need it most. We all want a more just world. We all want to be treated with equity and respect. How can we achieve such a noble ideal? The need for justice or righteousness is not new. In Jeremiah's day, the people felt the need for a wise, just king who always did the right thing. Unfortunately, the situation in the prophet's time was not at all inviolable. Murder, impunity, and corruption were their daily bread. However, in today's verse, God promises to give the people what they had longed for. Jeremiah described him as a branch of righteousness who would be called the Lord our righteousness. Notice that in this verse, righteousness becomes more than an attribute. Righteousness becomes a person. The Lord, our righteousness. When you hear the phrase, the Lord, our righteousness, what do you think about? In the Bible, righteousness more than doing the right thing denotes God's treatment of human beings. It also expresses what God wants to do in our lives. Paul, speaking to, of the cross, said that God made him Christ who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in Him. 2 Corinthians 5.21 Don't you think this is wonderful? God is our righteousness, but God doesn't just settle for being our righteousness. He wants to make you and me the righteousness of God in Christ. Instead of protesting on social media or repeating the arguments we find on YouTube about social justice, we must cling to God if we want our world to be a better place. We must remain in Christ, and only in this way can we be the righteousness of God and transmit it to the world around us. Do you want a more just world? God says to you today, let me be your righteousness and you will make this world a more just place. Let's close with a word of prayer. Our Father who is in heaven, thank you for your mercy. Help us to obey and to actually live out your commandments. Help us to stop complaining about the issues in this world, but instead to spread your love and to share with others the gospel and your commandments. In the name of Jesus, amen. Thanks for stopping by. I invite you to come back tomorrow to listen to another message from God. May God's presence be with you always.